Hello, today we'll discuss about the geothermal plants. It is one type of renewable energy technology which is used for converting the thermal energy to the electrical energy from the substance in the subsurface of the earth. So some hot liquid magma or some uh, steam is coming out from the surface. So that energy, thermal energy, we can convert to the electrical energy by using geothermal plants. So here is three types of plants already is diagram is mentioned here so first we will see the dry steam plant this is a very simple method to get the thermal energy to convert the electrical energy so it is just here this is the surface and the surface having uh, two well is there one well is called production well and another one injection well so in production well the hot substance in form of steam is coming out and that is steam is forcefully to the uh, turbine blades will move and that turbine will coupled with the generator so there is a mechanical energy is coming and it is converted to electrical energy so remaining part of water particles from here will go to the condenser condenser it will make it liquid water vapor ups and that it will convert to the cold water and that is going to the injection well this is the process of the dry steam plant so we are getting the electricity here and that is given to the transmission lines or grids okay now next type of plant is called as flash steam plant the difference between the dry steam and flash steam plant is that there we are using extra component here so whatever the production well coming inside up under the subsurface of the earth whatever the water and steam mixture is coming here so here what happened the steam separator will be there so whatever the water and steam is coming from here water and steam is coming from here that is separated by the steam separator and here only the steam is coming out and that steam is going to the turbine again the turbine blades are moving so that it produces some mechanical energy and that mechanical energy is converted to electrical energy and is used for the grid purpose so remaining water particles water liquid will go to condenser and here also the remaining part of vapors which is come from the water droplets is come to condensers and that current that water is goes back to the injection well so here is the cold water here is a hot water and steam so this is all about the flash steam plant now we'll see the binary steam plant in binary steam plant the same process but here with the mechanism is different here again we are taking the hot water from the production well and it is going to the heat exchanger this is called heat exchanger so heat exchanger will make as a temperature difference here it will make a very much hot water will be there and there it will be the maintain the uniform temperature here and in heat exchanger we can put some organic fluid because we have to reduce the boiling point of the water so that its uh, temperature will be a uh, little bit uh, change from the water boiling point so the lower boiling point temperature we are using here and that organic fluid we are using so that it will again come from the turbine turbine will rotate and also the generator is coupled shaft so this convert the mechanical energy to electrical energy and that energy is goes to the grid so remaining water droplets are coming from condensers and these condensers having cold water again it will go to heat exchanger and then it makes as a cold water and that is get inside the injection well so these are the three types of plants we already discussed here so normally geothermal plants the efficiency is 10 to 12 percent and uh, there is uh, some uh, limitations that uh, geothermal plants we can use wherever the uh, the availabilities of this uh, hot steam and water from the subsurface so this is the one limitation but its efficiency is also very low 10 to 12 percent and it's a good advantage is that it is a very short construction period we can make this geothermal plants and it is very much uh, a uh, good reliable plant and its maintenance is very less and uh, we have it is uh, there is no uh, gas emissions through this geothermal plants so it is eco-friendly also so this is all about the geothermal plants thank you very much